In an effort to boost coffee activities, Kenya embarked on a coffee revitalization action plan, which recommended interventions based on eight pillars to address the challenge of the sector. This saw the government engage in various partners in a bid to revive the sector. The president himself is the one who started these coffee reforms by appointing a tax force that uh, went around picking views and making recommendations. So actually what we are implementing now is the recommendations that emanated from that tax force and the roadmap uh, that was developed, which, which uh, gave recommendation on certain components of reforms that required to undertake. Speaking during the launch of the first phase of the coffee revitalization project, targeting coffee growing areas via video conferencing with governors from the coffee growing counties, Agriculture CS Peter Munya said the fund will ensure increased coffee production, which has been dwindling over the years by prioritizing specialty coffee in Muranga, Kiambu, Meru, Tarakanedi, Machakos, Kerenyaga, and Nyeri counties. Because of the resources, we, we thought if we spread it, across the country we won't have the impact we wanted to have. And we said we start with the main coffee growing areas that consist of these six counties that grow 70% of the coffee in the country. And that will be phase one. And then phase two is the rest of the, the, the counties that are not included here. So we have very specific interventions that will be undertaken to make sure that the production goes up and even the quality of coffee also increases. Of course, this will involve uh, you know, extension services, uh, subsidy support, uh, research, quality seeds, etc., etc. All measures that are geared towards increasing productivity uh, and also increasing the volumes of coffee. The fund will also be used to enhance efficiency along the coffee value chain and strengthen cooperatives. Of course, it's improving the efficiency of the farmer cooperative societies. So we'll also be looking at the cooperative societies. How are they organized? Uh, what are challenges do they have? How do we address the governance challenges that are there that have been making it difficult uh, for the cooperatives to run? We we'll also be looking even at uh, the viability of some of those cooperatives. Currently, Kenya produces 40,000 tons of coffee, which the CS says could be scaled to at least 100,000 tons by fourth quarter of the year. The World Bank will similarly support refurbishment of cooperatives to ensure automation. The once a very lucrative cash crop, coffee has been declining in production for many years now. But according to the Ministry of Agriculture, the new revitalization of coffee program is set to address challenges that include supply, production and marketing. Alana Oko reporting for Channel 1 News in Nairobi.